Do you have a color? I've been asked this and I was like, right now my colors are purple, green, pink, orange, black, and white. And that's kind of where I live. So you don't have a color. <laughs> okay. That, the answer is no, I don't. I'm not sure. I like red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet, black, and white. But see, and they kind of works. It, oh, it definitely works. <laughs> it definitely works. Hi, it's Trixie Mattel. Welcome back to The Pit Stop, the show where we recap RuPaul's Drag Race season 16. Today we're on episode six, and we are joined in the studio by the sugar to my spice, everybody's baby daughter, Crystal Method. Who's ready to party and play? Woo! Oh my gosh, I love that I'm the sugar. Yeah, well they wrote it in the card. Oh, okay. But this Perfect. must mean that you're incredibly sweet. Um, we'll find out. I'm, I'm not saying I'm a bad influence, but I do love to get people in the pit stop and be like, just be yourself, just speak from the heart. And then we get in here and I'm like, what do you think of her out? You convinced me to be a total monster. <laughs> total. <Yeah. laughs> if anybody thought Crystal was sweet, this is a new Crystal. She's turning over a new leaf. I'm in my villain era. I think we can give honest critique because we've had good days and bad days. Yeah, it's important to fail. I don't trust anybody who's never flopped on Drag Race. Name them. Bianca. <laughs> Good one. Bianca's whole hosting the pit stop was like, nice dress, I wouldn't have worn it. <laughs> Next. <laughs> like, she's like. Crystal, welcome, how are you? Um, I'm doing so lovely. It's been a while since I've been on the show and I love welcoming the girls to the family and judging their awful outfits. <laughs> well, <laughs> spoiler alert, there may or may not be some awful outfits, but there's also some successes. Yeah, huge successes. I'm really cheering on my girl Q, a Missouri girl. Woo! Missouri girls matter. Is it triggering when you watch Drag Race, like to kind of secondhand watch that level of stress again? No, I don't think so. Now that I've done it and I already know how it works, ish, I'm less stressed about the whole thing. Kind of once you zip up your suitcase, there's no other option but to sell what you brought, you know? That is a really <laughs> good point. And it helps to be RuPaul's favorite. Were you worried about presenting this level of makeup on Drag Race? No. Good. You shouldn't have been. <laughs> I've always liked my makeup, even when they were telling me it was muddy. I remember going back in Untucked and telling Gigi, like, <laughs> I'm sad I'm in the bottom, but I know I look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I always felt, which is like delusion. But what's the point of doing drag? Yeah. Who are these drag queens who are like, I guess I look okay. No, you should walk out there and be like, you should be the last one on the runway because you're just looking at yourself in the mirror. Thank you. Does season 12 feel like a long time ago or just yesterday? It seems like just yesterday. I don't know. It, I can flash back at any moment and feel like I'm in the workroom, but right. I'm thankful some time has passed because I watched my whole season in my living room. <laughs> Girl, some people on your season won Drag Race in their living room. Yeah. I love Jada, as you do, of course but because she's my friend. And I like when funny things happen to my friends. The thought of her winning Drag Race, closing a computer and just sitting there like, like she's, like she's, um, like she's Elliot with two T's behind that wall. Just like sitting. <laughs> like, okay, but she did have a whole parade. Jada had a parade for her win. And true. you know what? I Even if I won, I don't think my friends would have gotten together and done that for me, so. What have you been thinking about season 16? Season 16, I want there to be a fight with Plain Jane. A physical fight? Yeah. Okay. Like at first, I was like, cut this, not into it. But now that she's kept being consistently rude, <laughs> I kind of yeah. I kind of enjoy the character. Yeah, it's like kind of not an act, which is fun. Uh-huh. And if somebody does fight her, they'd be pinned down on the ground and you'd be like, bitch, you were asking for it. <laughs> like you were asking everybody here to fight you. Yeah. Who do you think it would be? Who would throw the first punch? At this point? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I think at any moment, Amanda could walk back in <laughs> and another thing, bitch. But now that Amanda's gone, it's gonna be interesting to see where Plain Jane channels that energy. Yeah, the new weakest link. Do you know any of the queens from the season? I know Q from Missouri. Otherwise, no, I haven't gotten to meet anyone. What about you? Do I know any of these people? I don't think I know any of these people. If I'm forgetting someone that I do know, I'm so sorry. You've met Safira because Safira's besties with Katya. You know, I think I met Safira through Katya once. Uh -huh. I know Plain works at Jacques, Katya's old bar. I only know people through Katya. <laughs> it's my only friend group is people through Katya. I'm excited to get your thoughts on these gals because you are sweet, but you have such a great point of view in drag and I know that you'll have good. Yeah, I. my point of view is like, it's funny because like, 
I tend to like the drag I can't do. I tend to lean towards less artsy drag. A hundred, like Miss Morphine is like my favorite queen. This naked beat uh -huh. down bitch. I'm like, oh! I mean, I could do that. All right, last week, a mandatory meeting, who I think spiritually is really a great mascot of the season, sashayed away. Fair to say she left a memorable impression, wouldn't you agree? Oh my gosh, I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> You know, by the time she sashayed, she sold me. The next time she comes to Los Angeles, I'm going to the show. Okay, promise. Love that. You're coming too. I'm coming. Take me. We're going. Do you drink? I absolutely drink. Okay. I don't drink anymore, but I'm going to watch you drink. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You can hold my hair. You know, it's depending on Amanda's presentation that might that I, I might have a you, glass of wine. So it might help off. with the illusion. <laughs> yes. You're a queen who does her makeup super fast, right? I can do my makeup really fast. How fast are we talking? I have done it in 45 minutes, but I like an hour 15. That's about me too. You know, we had Kamora Hall in the pit stop and she- She didn't even make it. She was due on set at 1 p.m. She got up to get in drag at 6.30 in the morning. Dead serious. Oh no. And I said, do you watch TV or do you like take breaks? She said, no, I sit in the dark and the quiet. So she's killed before. Have you ever taken that long to get ready? I have, but I feel like that was all in my baby drag days when you're like not sure what you're doing, you're figuring it out. Like, I feel like we have very much shapes that we use each time. So it's just kind of, I don't even, autopilot. Same. The hardest part is choosing what colors I'm gonna mix together. Yeah, I mean, all this clown makeup you and I do, it makes me think like, what are some of these bitches doing? <laughs> for two, three hours. It doesn't make sense. Up until last episode, Q, your best friend, had been doing That's incredibly right. well, but she fell on the bottom too. Do you think that reality checked her a little bit? You know what? Maybe yes, but no. Cause she was wanting to win already. She'd been doing good. She ended up in the bottom, it happens. So it happens. you just have to like move past that. You sent that girl home and new day. Many people who've won Drag Race have been in the bottom. Yeah. I can't name a single one, but. I was in All-Stars. Oh yeah. Things happen. Yeah, you need to be prepared. Have an exit line, even though you shouldn't want to use it. Totally. It's like the bitches who don't learn the lip sync. I'm like. I'm really bad at learning words in English or any language. <laughs> <laughs> I don't words in English, but I'm great at Swahili. Thank you. <laughs> Um, that's so crazy. Last week we saw Rue ask the question, who should go home and why? Mm. She asked pretty early this year. Whoa. What do you think of that question? I love that question. And it's testing if you have the nerve. Like you have to give the answer. Rue's right there. This is what she wants. What do you think about when people say, I like to nominate myself? No. People do that all the time. How are you yeah. loving these girls that much already? Me? Cause I get it. No, no, no. I mean like. Oh. To be like, take me. If it's me or you, ho. Yeah. Does Anami seem a little pressed that Q named her on stage? She seemed very bothered because you only asked to give one name and Q gave two. Oh, <gasps> I didn't think about that. That's a little extracurricular. Yeah. You know, <laughs> I want to get your thoughts on Plain Jane. What do you make of her energy this season? She knew what she's in there to do, which I think is interesting to go in with that mindset. I think it's kind of what Diabetti did, even though I said, just be yourself. It's like, maybe be a bitch. I'm, you know, I'm not really sure. Cause she's so random. I don't like Burger Finger. I don't either. I don't like Burger Finger. I'm so sorry. I don't know her yet. Like Dawn's an elf, right? Plasma's old, period? you know? You mean period? Yeah. You know, I get what you're saying. And now I'm not asking to be hit over the head with a brand. Like, I don't, I don't respond to that either. Right, like, right, brown cow stunning, sponge people, we can't go backwards. No, 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 no. But I, I get what you're saying where I'm, I'm not exactly sure what the flavor is, mm -hmm. other than confrontational, <laughs> you know? <laughs> By the way, Eve, we're scared of talking about her. She's scared us, she's intimidated us so much. You think you could take her? You're not, you don't wanna fight. Could I take her? I'm such a wimp, are you kidding me? I'd probably start crying. If she DMs me, I don't like what you said about me in the pit stop, I'd probably lose 10 pounds. Whoa, skinny. The next day the queens are talking about cosmetic surgery. Has lip filler truly taken over the drag community? The girls are saying like every one of those girls has lip filler. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's usually more of an all-stars move. People uh -huh. come in, surge Tina. 
search Tina <laughs> yes. McGillicuddy. Today, for a queen to enter the Drag Race sphere, and a lot of them have lips, is interesting. What do you think they're going to do after the show? What's the next step? Veneers. Buccal fat. Many of them will get breasts. Many, many <laughs> will get breasts. But on the back. Yes. And then it's kind of like a reveal thing. Like, oh, she's turned around. I've seen Jimbo do that. <laughs> I believe <laughs> it. We see RuPaul enter and introduce the iconic Charo bitch. Oh my gosh, I love that woman. Do you live? She, she reminds me of my aunt. Oh. Just like big boobed and lots of energy. I want an aunt like that. I DJed at Seattle Pride and she was there sound checking during my session. Uh -huh. And there was no one there yet a few sound people, and she's out in the audience with no one there. She's going up to sound people or people who volunteer at the festival, singing and dancing on them, grabbing their hands and making them spin. Cute. The fact that she was sound checking and in full glam and performing for about five volunteers, I was kind of in awe. Yeah. In the mini challenge, the queens show off their flamenco skills. What do you think of these queens' flamenco abilities? Really fun, I love that they brought in those dancers. I wanna say that I would wanna have danced with the brunette. How would you do in this mini challenge? Let's see, uh, I think it's, you just have to be fun, let loose, not care too much. Obviously I'm not a dancer, but I don't mind shaking a little skirt around, grinding on a man's groin. It's a mini challenge. I would do it. Just have fun. Yeah. It's not, you know, it's not the Olympics. Mm -hmm. Charo announces the winner is Tsunami Muse and she wins a trip to Spain. This is giving me America's Next Top Model. When they went to Spain? They go to Spain, but they also do flamingo dancing. Oh, what season? The one with the twins? I'm watching it for the first time right now. Oh my it's God. It's dragging me. It's so good. I love how unhinged they are. It's amazing. Now for the maxi challenge, the queens will be creating their own doll. They have to design a look for themselves and their doll. What do you think of this challenge? I think that's cute. Cute. That's your thing. It is my thing. It's literally my thing. I did it with Integrity Dolls, the company that makes the RuPaul doll. <laughs> Not to brag. Not to brag. Anything. I actually, this is a good, this is a good inside tea. When I did Celebrity Drag Race, I brought some of my RuPaul dolls to set, and I was like, I gotta get these signed. And one of my most prized possessions is like, I have three RuPaul dolls that are all like too tricksy RuPaul in the box. Whoa. And I was well, see, now that they're too tricksy, they're like not valuable. <laughs> well, since some woman named Trixie. <laughs> oh, for sure. I'm blown. I will say, I think it's a harder than it looks challenge because when you're using fabric on somebody our size versus mm -hmm. somebody this size, fabric doesn't behave the same. So we saw that. As we find out. <laughs> as a fashion designer and a crafty person, yes. would you have done the doll outfit first and then worked from it or done your outfit and then worked on the doll? I think I would have had to do doll first. I would have wanted to just get it going on the doll, paint its face probably first, <laughs> and just think about it. Look at my supplies, and then like see what works on the doll, like what fabric, because you got to get such tiny little sleeves. That's you know? the thing. It's hard to sew doll clothing, it really is. So it's like you can't add too much crazy. So I would probably lean towards a print right. to bring in the excitement. And prints hide sewing mistakes. Uh-huh. They definitely do. Absolutely. Were you ever a doll person? I had action figures, because, you know, were you a I boy? was assigned male. But I mean, were but, you like a boyish boy? No, I just always stood gay. I don't know how to explain further. But I had like um, Power Rangers, and I always requested the pink Power Ranger. Sure. And I would get it, but accompanied with like the Red Ranger or the White Ranger. It was kind of like, it was <laughs> It was your beard. Yes. That was your action figure's beard. Well, the Red Ranger was gorgeous. Uh-huh. And the white one, that was like such a sleek outfit with the tiger, the gold accents. A little flute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the Power Rangers were a sleigh, big time. I wasn't really allowed to have dolls either. I, my mom bought me for like my fifth birthday, sixth birthday, a Ken doll. That was like the compromise. Like you can have a doll, but it has to be a boy. But it didn't really work because I was in love with him. <laughs> I thought that was my boyfriend. Like, so joke's on you. I don't want my son to turn out gay, so let's get him a male toy where the clothes come off. <laughs> Not exactly sound logic. Yeah. We're inbred. <laughs> so, <laughs> This is a design challenge and a branding challenge. What would a crystal method doll look like? What would a crystal method doll look like? Whenever I heard about the dolls, I was instantly like, what accessories are we giving her? And so I'm like, I'm trying to think like maybe she could have the hair grows or Fun. something. You know, like put a little gimmick in there and then try and rig it for stage. 
Oh, okay. To like pull ponytails out of the hair and it like goes. Love that. You know, that. or otherwise, you know, colorful. Would you do an addition or would you just do like crystal? The crystal edition. Yeah, it's all made out of glass. That's one and super expensive. Uh huh. Would you enjoy the doll part of this challenge? I think I would like the doll part more than the human outfit and I would probably spend so much time doing the doll's makeup. Oh my God, the doll would look flawless and they'd be like, girl, yeah. be like, I ran out of time. And then no clothes. No makeup, no clothes. <gasps> body paint the doll oh. and then body paint a bodysuit. Not a bad idea actually. Plain doesn't seem thrilled with the fabric she has here. Do you think she's playing mind games with Geneva? Oh, she wants that blue fabric. She wants that red. No, she wants the red fabric. I think that it's funny because I like that Jane is like, you don't even know what you're doing yet. Because she probably doesn't know what she's doing yet either. Thank you. So, but I think that's funny to say just to like maybe make her uneasy and give it up. I think it's funny that Plain doesn't ultimately get the red fabric and the red fabric doesn't get used. The red fabric, yeah. I At that point, Geneva, I'm, I'm, if I'm Geneva, you're asking me, you're playing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Jane. Can I have that fabric? No. Okay. And then I'm not gonna use the fabric and I'm just gonna go put it in my suitcase. Love. That is dia, that's dia petty. <laughs> We're reminded Maya is not someone who sews. No, I don't think I needed to be reminded. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I think we knew. We know that Maya flips. Yes. There's no sewing involved. If I could move like Maya, do you think I would care about anything else? I feel like in Drag Race world, the consumers of Drag Race love to be like, why can't she sew? I'm like, many drag queens can't. Oh my gosh, drag queens cannot sew. <laughs> do you think it should be necessary to know how to sew on Drag Race? I don't think it should be necessary because some of the best looks, like Lala Ree putting a purse on her head, mm -hmm. wouldn't have been possible with sewing knowledge. Ooh. Yeah, that's a good point. I'm no seamstress, but I can create a look. I prefer it if there's less people like that. Oh, yeah. As a I don't want people to learn anything ever. Same. What do you think of Safira helping Maya? I think that Safira maybe, if she was so concerned about being awful and taking her potion, she should have maybe worked on her dress more. Is you that? Have, no, you have a way of saying it that is not extra it's just like that makes sense yeah it's just an observation yeah but you know what help your sister out and maybe that'll be help you out later along the line but yeah i don't know i'm trying to get that flipper out of here <laughs> yeah <laughs> like how good are you at flipping i don't want to sing against the flipper no no i'd be like all right i'll help you but if we ever lip sync no flips no split even yeah. one and no lashes so the queens have noticed that Nymphia is the queen that acts like she's overwhelmed and then turns out something amazing. What do you think of this? Is it strategy? I think it's strategy, but it's also so me. <laughs> I, <laughs> I am gonna complain about doing it and how hard it is and how I'm so confused until I'm done. Right. Part of my process creatively is to complain. Oh. So like, you know, even if I know exactly what I'm doing, I'm like, oh. I just think it's funny that she's not exactly a good actress and all the other girls have caught on. You can't wear what you did in that other design challenge with all the ties and then be like, what am I doing? Yeah, like there was no gas leak. No one has amnesia. Like how did you even get the wiring? Girl. For those. She brought it from home. She lives at a Radio Shack. <laughs> <laughs> is she the banana that cried wolf? She is, yeah, she's a rotten banana. I know. she either Dirty, rotten, lying, black. Those ones that were hanging on her nipples. Greasy. Yeah. Yeah. Crystal, tell me this. Do you think the queens are being honest or shady when they ask each other for opinions on their looks? I think that they are desperate for a compliment, kind of like you. Honestly. You know? It's like, <laughs> but I thought it was funny that Nymphia didn't give her a real opinion. She was just like, made a stank face and said, I love it. Well, that was the opposite of what like Plain would do. Plain would be like, where do I start? Your whole family's a mess. Plain is where you go. If you want to know what people <laughs> think of your outfit, walk over to Miss Plain and say, what do you think of this? Yeah. Should we get into the looks? Can we please? I think we should. So category is welcome to the dollhouse. First up, we have Tsunami Muse. Okay, if this was your first time seeing Tsunami, would you be like, fashion girl? 
I would be like, casual separates. I mean, a uh, Barbie does wear jeans. Yeah. What I would have said is like, this is my executive edition. Like, she looks worky or something. I find it interesting that the belt on the doll is very like tiny belt sized. And hers is more like, what do you wear with a tux? Cumberbund. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she really, and by the way, that four-way stretch velvet is very thick and she bunched it at the waist. Looks like a life preserver. My favorite thing about it is the bow on the back. Same, yeah. But bows are so doll. Like, throw a bow on a doll, a big bow. Girl, absolutely. I like the colors. Completely, it's a completely adequate job. I think even Tsunami would be like, girl, I'm not a professional costumer, but it works. Mm -hmm. Up next, we have Safira Cristal. The worst thing about this is that she used her immunity potion. Crystal, we have to discuss the very real presence of an inner saboteur here. I've never seen one hit so hard, so early, so unwarranted. This wasn't a winning look, but it's not flopping. Take a moment, look at each girl. Can you find two girls worse than you? Yes. Crystal. So don't. You make it sound so easy, but Don't that's true. drink it. Is that the same fabric that's on the doll? Yeah, but it's just a scale issue. Yeah, because look how on the doll, you, it's like got that the nude part, you can see the legs. I kind of like that. Yeah. I wish she would have made her hair that crazy like the doll. That's kind of interesting. I am just really want to know, is that the same breastplate from the first episode when they were tiny? I don't know. Because they look normal here. Per maybe, I don't know. Sophia, if you're watching this, call in. Let us know. Up next, Plasma. Points because the doll looks just like it, even though like the little zigzaggy design or whatever, how it's proportionate yep. on the doll. It's uh, like if Lucy, I Love Lucy, was dressed up like Jasmine. Oh, that is a really good point of reference. I really like this look. Um, it's not the most fabulous sewing ever, but it completely works for her character. Mm -hmm. And it really speaks to Plasma. I think she was smart to go like, all right, period look, or what did you call it? Old? Old. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a completely safe look. I can't believe she was almost in the bottom. I thought it was like not that bad. The the thingy, the scarf. Oh, yeah. Falling off. Commit. If she would have turned her head and let take it, it off. Take the whole thing off and throw it. Yeah, or just up him. All right, she did okay though. Up next, we have Plain Jane. What do you think? You know? Blue you, water girl. You, <laughs> doll. You said something while you were watching it that really resonated with me. You said, the longer it's on the runway, the less impressed I am by it. Yeah, it was like, I think the silhouette maybe was like striking when we saw it like come out. Uh huh. And then, I don't know. And then once I started looking, it's just kind of like. It's just a bar costume. It's, yeah, but like well done. And the, the details on the doll match. She did a good job. Yeah. <laughs> and I will say it's not a lot of pattern pieces, but I think with her trim, she made it look like it was a bunch of pattern For pieces. For sure. Which was really smart. Next up, we got Nymphia Wind, the um, limping, barely literate at sewing, please help me, you know, ball of nerves. Mm -hmm. She somehow pulled through. Yeah, thank goodness. If this whore trotted around that workroom and said, poor me, poor me, and then walked out in this, lies. I'm assuming that Nymphia was not in the top because the hair and the bow are different on her and the doll. Yeah, that's really weird to think about. But I'm like, was there no, a tiny bit of pink fabric? Like the tiniest amount. I don't know. Great look though. Love it. But, oh my God, the way she moved in it, the bow placement where her hip, it's like. <sighs> yeah, really, really nice. Next up we have Morphine Love Dion. I said I would gravitate towards the pattern, but the hard part is that they don't work on the dolls. I'm assuming that's the same fabric. It just reads differently on the doll than on her. The difference is you could literally hot glue these clothes to the dolls. Yeah. You know, you don't have to sew really anything. I like it. Let's be honest. It gives, I like to show body. I'm going to take this yard of fabric and wrap it over my nipples. She's a Miami girl. She's going to have her ass out. And yeah, This I is like her it. conservative look. For sure. This is covered. Her ass is mostly covered. Yeah. Morphine is literally like my wet dream and drag. If I could snap my fingers and look like her for a day, it'd be over for all you bitches. Oh I'd be pregnant gosh. in both holes. <laughs> and the back one. Okay. Next up, we have Maya Iman LePage. 
our sister from the legendary house of Joanne Fabrics. Mm -hmm. You know what I love that I'm just seeing? That big yellow spot on the doll <laughs> leg. I kind of love that. When I saw the doll first, I went, all right, if this is the doll look, the human look is going to be also perhaps a struggle. She should have maybe made the cape on her outfit smaller and the one on the doll larger and yeah. meet in the middle there. I felt for her because we love her kicking and flipping, but I've never been on Drag Race without sewing knowledge, and I bet that sucks. So I felt for her. Yeah, this was, um, you know, spoiler alert, not exactly a top performing look, but I just want to give credit. She can't really work a sewing machine, and she put together something. And the colors of shoes are the same. <laughs> and that's what's <laughs> important, doll. Next up, we have Megami. You know, honestly, is it weird that this is one of my favorite looks I've seen Megami in? No. Is that... I think this is the best Megami look of the season. Yeah. I'm not kidding. See, she's one of the only ones that did the props. Holding the latte cup, it cheapened it. It's just too pretty. Because it needs to be like a cup this big. With stones on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I get it. She looks great. And listen, uh, makeup wise, I always love her face. So great job. Up next, Geneva Carr. What do you think of the look? I am obsessed with the mini skirt on the doll. Yeah, me too. Because look how big those little circles are. She should have just gone and gotten a bunch of paper plates. Plates. And do, 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 do. easy. Because that would have been really impressive to use the sequin on the doll and then scale up and go make your own uh -huh. like giant paillettes. Oh my gosh, yeah. Spray adhesive, glitter on top. That's fierce. Yeah. Well, and I will say too, I love this neck ruffle on the doll. If that scale had been on Geneva, yeah. she might have had a lot better showing. And cut the sleeve off. La Roche said that she had Danny DeVito legs. No, oh my gosh. You can't say that. I did. La Roche said it. <laughs> La Roche said it, and I'm just the messenger. It's that on the was cards. So awful. Like, the doll has RuPaul legs, and you have Danny DeVito legs. Even Danny DeVito's at home watching Drag Race being like, hey, you know, like, <laughs> I, you have, the doll has RuPaul legs and you have Danny DeVito legs. That... She might as well, LaRoche might as well have looked at her and said, why don't you go eat dog food, bitch? Like, that, that is so what it feels severe. like. Plain and her are from the same family tree of literacy. We got Dawn, who was so excited to show her look this week. Oh, they were ready to win. Yeah. They're galactic. Yeah. A galactic elf in a gown. What do you, what do you, um, what do you have to say? <laughs> you know, I believed in her sewing ability mm -hmm. and I didn't expect this. She turned the corner. I said, this is it. Jiffy pop. I think, coat. I think because she was like, I'm coming for the win. We were like really excited. Same. I think the judges enjoyed it. I personally didn't enjoy it, but I, listen, I wear 60s dresses from the internet. Let's you know, it. La Roche liked it because they said it was a reference from... Balmain or something, right? It was Balmain? Balenciaga, oh. something, Vogue. Um, so they knew the reference. Maybe we don't really know that reference. Because we're not, not fashion. Like, sparking us. Well, I, I am fashion. Okay. Wait, but is it fashion? <laughs> but is it fashion? Listen, it is a cool look and it's absolutely worthy of some praise and at least safety. She did a good job. Now, people do draw some parallels to her look to yours. What do you think about that? Um, I think that those people need to read a book um, and educate themselves because I've never looked like that in my life. Would you want to? <laughs> no, um, no, I for sure see it. Big makeup girls, we've got the lips, we've got the eyes. You're a big makeup girl. Yeah, I mean, anytime somebody comes out with white liner, they're like, do you know about Crystal Method? Do you know? I'm like, yes, we, and we all know about white eyeliner. Yeah. And Bozo the Clown did it first, so like, here we are. Uh-huh. Hey, you're not being told you have the legs of Danny DeVito. So oh, let's count our blessings. my God. I'd rather be called Don than Danny DeVito legged any day. And finally, we have Q from the lovely state of Missouri. Um, I mean, save the best for last. Honestly, the scale of this look, this takes somebody who knows their body and knows the machine so well that they can go, I'm gonna use every moment available to me and make something that you won't believe I made in a day. And this print reads big and small. Yes. She snapped. She really snapped. Literally no notes. This blew my mind. I knew you had it in you, Q. <laughs> Who had your favorite look? My favorite look is Q. And after we just quickly ran through those again, I kind of liked Morphine's. 
<laughs> like okay. as a top? Evolving is that, styles. Yeah. Which queen uh, struggled out here behind the sewing machine and on the runway? I guess it was valid that Geneva and Maya were in the bottom. Yeah, that's it was pretty straightforward. After the runway, Saphira decides to drink her immunity potion crystal. Ah, I think I stood up and yelled. What do you think of that? I think that that is a foolish mistake. Did she need it? Uh, uh, she didn't need, didn't need it at all. It seemed really random. Those potions are not being handed out very often. No, no, no. There's only two of them in circulation right now. And now there's one. And now, if our friend Safira ends up in the bottom, she's going to be like. Next, we find out that the winner of the week is Q. Do you agree? I agree. Congratulations, Q. Part of me is glad that she got it, but the other part of me is like, wouldn't it have been funny to give it to Dawn? <laughs> <laughs> That's a real friend. We find out the bottom two are Geneva and Maya. Do you agree with the bottom two? I agree. I agree with the bottom two and... Uh, I just would hate to go up a flipper myself. So Geneva, I feel you, girl. Geneva and Maya lip sync to Control by Janet Jackson. What do you think it'll lip sync? I think that I have to learn how to do the splits immediately. Girl, same. She makes it look so easy. Uh-huh. And plus, that breastplate is heavy. Yeah. And that did not slow her down at all. Not even when that one titty herniated out of that opening in the <laughs> hole. It... It, she it, pushed it right back in there and kept going. Yeah, she really, it was It was out. That titty fell out of the uh -huh. The fact that she tucked it back in so discreetly. Yeah. We've seen a lot of rubber titty this year. We have. What about the lesbian? Were they having? The lesbian relationship. The, the, that kiss to me. Was, was that lip to lip? I was so like, <sighs> it really caught me off guard. I felt like tongue was happening. It made me horny. It looked like a kiss on the cheek but it felt like a kiss on the lips. It felt like open mouth kissing. <laughs> um, Maya wins the lip sync. Do you agree? I agree. Sorry, Geneva. I love Geneva, but on the third, fourth lip sync, I would have been so bummed if Maya went home on the first lip sync. Mm -hmm. you know? I did like when um, Geneva interacted with her and went, like acted like she was pushing her down and the music went crash or whatever. Yeah. Crystal, you made it to the finale on season 12. Who do you see taking the crown this season? Any front runners? Oh my gosh. Front runners, Q, Nymphia, Morphine. Oh, work. Crystal Method, thank you so much for joining me today. Did you have a good time? I love it. First pit stop. It's your first pit stop? Pit stop debut. How was it? I loved every second. Good. Let this cup. Wow. Did I've only ever seen this in the YouTube. Isn't that nice? And we, we sent them home with you. Can I have this? No. I don't even think we washed it. Mm hmm This is Maddie's spit up in here. Oh, yeah, girl. <laughs> You're going to turn heterosexual <laughs> now, girl. Uh, That's a joke. Yeah. I think heterosexually is actually airborne illness. Mm hmm And thank you for watching The Pit Stop. Tune in next week for episode seven of season 16 of RuPaul's Drag Race here on The Pit Stop. Goodbye. Did anybody see what we saw? Or were we just gay and hoping everything can be gayer? Like, is that what's, that, <laughs> are we horny? Oh my gosh, I make everything so gay. Yeah, is every, oh, is every, oh, spell. Could you imagine? I was like, are we horny? And I fell face <laughs> between your legs. Right yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Caught molesting on the pit stop. <laughs>